Dear parents and teachers, one thing that growing youngsters resent is advice. When elders advise them, they think these elders are outmoded. Then whom do we count upon to put some sense into them? The best, best persons are their own peers. Now, when peers come to talk, how do you ensure that they really talk constructively and spend that time usefully rather than talk nonsense? Here in the children's parliaments, we give a kind of a situation, a kind of a forum where they are all expected to talk sense only. So this way, they help one another to get their values clarified and focused. And this we call also formation through action. We differentiate formation through action from formation through activities. Activities, you know, you go through a lot of activities. Somebody else has thought about them. But it doesn't really enter into you. But action, on the other hand, is a different process. Here you see a challenge, a situation, an issue. You feel about it. Your feelings are involved. Uh, you think about it. And your intellect is involved. You make decisions on it. Your will is involved. You do something about it together. And your team spirit is involved. And then you achieve something. You become more confident and others appreciate you, you get a taste for doing some good for others. This way you become competent communicators and leaders. And this process has produced such a lot of leaders. This process is in some 20 countries and some four continents. And we had to give you an example, there was one child she was only 13 years old, visually challenged, but still she was elected as the state child prime minister of Tamil Nadu, India. And that meant that she could come to United Nations some four or five times to talk on issues related to child, child welfare, child protection, and also issues related to visibility disabilities and this will be give children wider and wider challenges and opportunities that they are able to make their best contribution to humanity and this way this is a unique program you may have seen various other programs coming in some say for example mock parliament in the schools Ours is not a mock parliament. Mock parliament, they come for one function, they act out, and then when the meeting is over, the parliament is over. Here is not like that. It's a week after week process. Here they discuss and they are accountable. Others are holding them. Their own peers are holding them accountable. So they are challenged always to do better, to have clearer values, to make better, themselves better and better leaders. And if children go through this process for one year, you will automatically notice a change in them. Well, it is in one village, uh, in one state in India, parents were too conscious that the children should the, get the highest marks so they were resenting that the children were to take one or two hours extra for this children's parliament. Normally it is only one hour. In that place they had for three hours every week. So naturally the parents were resenting. Then they saw the changes in the children. The parents themselves came and pleading that their children too be admitted. So. It's a very good chance for children to have an all-round growth, to develop leadership qualities and better personality traits. 
I invite you all to send your children to benefit from this. Thank you very much.